You now have a page and a manifest, but you don't know how it looks like on a real Firefox OS device. To test this, there is an app manager and a simulator, which we'll cover in the next screencast. We now have a simple HTML file and a manifest, which together make up a Firefox OS app. What we don't know is how this app behaves within Firefox OS. Ideally, we would test this on a real device, but if you don't have a real device or you don't want to go through all the hassle, you can use the simulator. The simulator is part of the app manager which comes with Firefox for desktop. So let's open up the app manager via tools, web developer, app manager. Using the simulator is better than testing in a normal browser because it allows you to test Firefox OS specific interaction like app installation. At the bottom of the app manager, we have a button start simulator, which will open up a simulated Firefox OS environment. And in there, we can flick through the home screen and open and close built-in apps just like on a real device. Let's see how our app looks like in a simulator by clicking add packaged app. Now navigate to your app folder, which contains the manifest.web app file. And now when we click open, the app shows in the app manager. And we can install it into the simulator via update. You'll also need to update if you made changes to an already installed app and you want to see them reflected in the simulator. Now after installation, we can interact with the app from the simulator and for example, add a new task. The great thing about Firefox OS apps is, is that they're built using web technologies. And therefore, we can use the Firefox developer tools to debug this application. When you click debug, the developer tools show and attach to your application immediately. And these developer tools are the same tools you use when developing normal websites. There is, for example, the inspector, which allows you to go through all the HTML nodes. And we can use this to change the content of, for example, the header. And these changes are reflected in the app immediately, no update required. You can also use this to change the styling of the app. We can change the background color of the header from blue to green, and it will change without a saving. So now to persist this change, we click save, and we can overwrite todo.css. And this way the header will still be green after we reload our application or when we submit it to the marketplace. So there's also a JavaScript debugger. So let's add a breakpoint in the click handler of the add button. When we now add a new task, we can step through that code. So let's add a watcher for the value of add new input, our input field. As you can see, it contains the current value of the input field. And when we change the value to something different, it will reflect in the simulator immediately. When we continue the debugger, the task is added under the change name. And this is really a great way of developing because there's instant visual feedback, just like when you're making a website. So last but not least, there's also console, which allows you to run JavaScript code directly in the context of the application. So now that we've tested our app in a simulator, we can debug the application on the phone using the exact same tools. And that will be covered in our next video.